Yes, man. Piggles the Gaijin here, content creator. Um, trying something different. No, no, not really different. But we're going to see something. Try for a little longer. Just random, random, random rambling. Welcome back to my channel. This is the PDG cast. Um, Piggles podcast where we just talk about stuff and talk. And this time I'm going to see how long I can talk about this topic. Why do people love Japan? What is it? Why are people so fascinated with Japan? What is it about Japan that draws people to them? And, you know, I've been living in Japan for about nine years. And the content about Japan really went into overdrive right after during COVID and after COVID because persons weren't able to, like, really visit Japan. And so demand for the country grew. And I realized that a lot of the content that's curated about Japan is always this very fluffy, so superficial, futuristic type thing that doesn't really happen all the time in Japan. And for those who live in Japan or have been living here for a while, our reality is a little bit different. And by little, I mean very much different than what visitors would face. And with that in mind, you know, I, I guess Japan has some things, is a mystery to some. Uh, Japan has... Um, apparently reinvented themselves because if you go back and look through history they have been a very aggressive um, nation um, they they believe in, they're very patriotic they believe in themselves and I guess that resonates with that with, with, with many people and different crowds of people about patriotism, patriotism and believing in your culture and a race Japan actually also you know was kind of cool with not not going to brag about with Germany at the time i know what the agenda was about so they believed in you know like purity of race and that sort of thing so japan has been isolated for so long from the world and they opened up the borders and then covid came and they closed again i know they've reopened it. i know they have <laughs> i don't know what has happened but the influx of content creators or youtubers or streamers live streamers who would have decided to come to Japan now and to do these pranks, which more are like crimes. And they, they do these things and it, it really affects the image that Japan has of foreigners. Because we're already having to struggle out here fighting misconceptions, especially persons who are black, have to fight against a lot of the media type narrative of how people, black people are scary and aggressive and when really the most scary people in the world are not black. Check it out. Check it out. The wars, the experiments on humans, all these things, manipulation, mind, but all those stuff. Ain't black people doing that in us. But it is what it is. The narrative history is told by the victor. And we have been picking up L's from the beginning of time as black people. But this is what it is. Now, why do you love Japan? What do you know about Japan to love it? You know, what do you, why do you like Japan so much? What about Japan speaks to you uh, if you are watching? And, and let me know in the comments below. What, what about Japan really makes you connect with it and feel like, you know, it's, it's a part of your culture or something that somewhere you should be? I mean, it's a cool place to visit and, you know, and you can live for a while and you can you probably achieve some goals here. Your personal goals in terms of financial stuff and that sort of thing and connect with people, break into industries, etc. For me, it is more of a peace of mind in terms of knowing that I literally will not be killed by a policeman or I won't be killed by a fellow, um, let's say a robber, someone's going to try to rob me or someone is going to try and attack me and harm me because apparently i'm a scary guy i'm a six foot one 260 pounds 270 uh, whatever, whatever the pound this thing is yeah i'm up there and so i apparently i'm scared and of course i have the dreads no i didn't have dreads before i had a nice clean cut i used to work in a bank in jamaica but now i have the dreads and the beard um so yeah no i'm the scary guy so technically it's halloween time now in japan and I generally get stared at around the year. So it's Halloween every day for me. Kids would, oh my God. You know what I mean? Oh, it's a black guy. And not all experiences are bad, clearly, because I'm still in this country. But persons can't pick out that from the nuance of what I'm saying when I speak about Japan. Because there's not a lot of balance when it comes to the content and the things that are being said about Japan. But 
who cares about balance you know this happens one way your way like burger king but i will say this the last couple of interactions i've had with children like running into them in different streets or on the street coming out of um roadways or stores i've been really positive which actually it'd be the mix because let me tell you i was at the mcdonald's today this is friday the 28th 27th 27th yeah friday the 27th uh i was in mcdonald's eating the new new york buffalo chicken sandwich by the way fire from mcdonald's they have this new american come on baby america campaign going on now all right they have that going on now and um that that was really nice i've had two burgers out of the three don't mind me i'm gonna have the third one probably further down i'm broke as timothy's my point but that's fire two japanese kids came in the door saw me and just huh? Huh? and then and then they, they, they started to look at lose their brain i went back somewhere and then came back later more calm but i was i wasn't upset i was just in my food eating then 10 minutes later i'm walking through the uh through the bike path and three bikers three bikers show uh, probably elementary school kids see me and i oh but they made a noise while i hit the pedestrian crossing and when they reach me say oh hello i'm like hello how are you uh, i'm fine i so they saw the shirt which is minakoma nihon for sofa right which is katakana katakana and kanji which is japanese right right they probably recognize it oh i love japanese which means i love japanese people they say oh i love and then the other two guys are like oh i love you you're so cool i'm like yeah yeah and <laughs> yeah i know i'm cool thanks in my mind i said that clearly so i got thank you so much i said hello and i responded very positively to them because you know that interaction may shape how they view foreigners for the rest of their life might be the first but i don't know if it's the first interaction with a black dude don't care as a Jamaican, generally, we are a warm people. But if our spirit, if we don't feel that vibe with you, we kind of a bit standoffish and put up a wall. But for kids, you know, I'm like, I'm cool. Let's go, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? Kids are kids. Anyway, in the world. Cool. Now, why do you love Japan? Hmm? What about Japan? Has God? I know anime growing up as a kid, I used to watch anime, but not as, not as like, I was watching no he was watching dragon ball z that was the first anime dragon ball z and learned about the super saiyans and all that and we used to watch and stay and could only watch one episode at a time you lucky damn bastards who get to stream stuff no episodes and full seasons we had to watch an episode one 30 minute episode at a time then wait till the following week for the next episode it's crazy anyway who does that like just watch everything at once knew everything we want now culture it was really indicative of the culture we are living in now where everybody wants everything now can fast no one is willing to wait and this translates to all aspects and facets of our life relationships shopping whatever else there is eating food whatever we want it no everything must be done no it must be big broad loud posted on social media and very loud that's the culture we live in now back when i started growing when i was growing up the, my mother said, Oh, you post everything on Facebook, and that is light. If my mother saw what people post on Facebook and Instagram on the internet, no, she'd be like, Jesus, peace, no man, no man, this don't, this don't make sense, man. This, and you know, it, it is what it is. You know, times change, you kind of roll with the times and see what works and does best for you. Now, again, why do you love Japan? I don't love Japan, I like it, you know. Why do you love Japan? I know persons who anime the culture. What about the culture? Because the culture is such a diverse thing. Tradition is such a diverse thing. Um, I feel. Because, you see, culturally, people like to look to things that are different from their own and seek inspiration. And maybe Western culture is a bit more chaotic than Japanese. To you guys on the outside. But sometimes the chaos is, everything is organized organized in organized in japan and the chaos is also organized you know which takes away from the, the randomness when actually uh, when i learned in math actually nothing is really truly random there is an order there's a pattern some form of pattern anyway a long story that's what i remember from university math um maybe that's why i didn't get a honest degree anyway um i find that persons feel that japan is a place where they can start over a place where they can reinvent themselves, a place where no one knows them and they can just be who they always wanted to be. Unfortunately, I find, I feel the other, 
you know, it's not quite as simple as that. What I mean, what I mean by that is that persons feel that because they're in a new country and no one knows them, they can just have a clean slate right across. Not really. Well, unless you're the only one from your country, area, community, whatever that is in Japan, then you maybe can stand a chance of creating this new you, this facade, or this new whole creation, metamorphosis, or whatever you want to call it. But if you have multiple people from your country coming and your community coming, they will know who you are and they, so they'll see through your crap or see through this new facade and this new change. Which I mean, it's fine to change for the better, but don't change for the worse. Don't be a douchebag. Don't be, don't be a dick. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, guys, really, all of us really just want to feel appreciated. That is really what it comes down to. All of us want to feel loved and appreciated. Don't care what anybody else wants to say. That's, just, that's my fact. And if you get loved and appreciated, then you won't act out. You know? What is it about Japan? I think one of the major reasons these content creators come to Japan and stir up crap is because Japan doesn't really have this, I would say, aggressive law enforcement in terms of like outwardly, like 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 direct aggression. I don't know how to explain it. Like it's not the outward showing of aggression. They're very micro mi micro aggressive. Right? One. Two, they believe in their justice system. And if you don't adhere to their rules, they will coerce you or whatever into you getting a confession and getting their conviction rates. Their conviction is like 99% fam. Like they don't play around with getting plea deals or whatever, getting doing the doing the things to make sure that they persecute people to the extent of the law, especially foreigners. No. As a foreigner, you don't have the legal system really backing you. You don't have the language most of the like even if you do understand the language to, to up to the native level. They still look at you as an outsider and therefore will treat you as such. All that hospitality that you see about, oh, everybody be nice and polite in the streets is out the window. Japanese police hospitality is probably some of the worst in the world. I've heard. I've heard. I don't know if it's true. But, you know, people don't, there's no rights. There's no, oh, I know my rights. Um, no, in Asia especially. Have you ever watched Locked Up Abroad? All these stories are from Asia. They don't adhere to these UN type rules. Like, oh, you're entitled to a phone call. Entitled to what? People have been locked up in prison in Japan, have lost their jobs because no one knows where they are for three weeks. Right? That's crazy to me. That's how safe this country is. They lock you away in prison from everybody and cause you to lose your job, maybe. Or whatever. But then people say, oh, why would he be in jail? What would he do to be in jail to be in prison? And then because of it, maybe oh, shut up. Things can happen. All right. Things do happen. And sometimes, especially as a foreigner, you are very exposed and at the mercy of these Japanese people who will also lie because I've heard and seen them do it in, in real life. Lie about things. The police move towards you. And if there's no one here, Japanese to help you corroborate your story, your goose is cooked. The fact of the matter is, foreigners need Japanese to survive in Japan. You can go to any other country in the world, and you don't need a national from there to survive. But in Japan, they make it their point of duty to let you know that you, sir, you, you young lady, you man, woman, or whatever you identify as, if you want to do any business or be successful in Japan, you need a Japanese person to vouch for you, to stay by your side, to be a guarantor, to do a lot of the business for you because they're not dealing with no foreigner. But why do you love Japan? <laughs> Is it the hospitality? The politeness? They, they, they haunt the tatemai that they, they're always not, they're willing to avoid conflict. What's it about Japan? Why do foreigners love Japan so much? can't be the food because the food is mid i'm kidding not mid but the food is not even top three in asia there's china there's korea thailand philippines you know um, but japan i mean i think the food is on a whole on a whole is slightly overrated if we're being honest the sushi that y'all have in the West, like in America and all them places there, that's not real sushi. That's American fusion catered to the Western side to make them like sushi more. Because sushi is basically just fish. The nigiri is fish and rice. 
that's it the gun can is a little different which is what you guys get which is the rollish thing but it's not this big old california roll thing it's like two little two little things it's not even like this it's like mm -mm. it's like a ship like a boat that's what basically gun can is yeah but why why is it i don't know I, I really don't know why people love japan that much i mean why don't they love korea that much hmm? or why don't they love china well no no one loves china like that because i guess china is aggressive and loud quote unquote I find that the type of persons that come to Japan also, I don't know, some, I mean, I'm here, so I guess it can't all be weird people. But I'm weird, you know, I mean, I'm not like creepy weird, but I have a few idiosyncrasies that might not resonate well with some people, aka I'm a bit annoying sometimes, but I have a lot of love to give. And by annoying, I'm just, I'm just like really in, like intense. I find and other persons can't handle intense at all at no level regardless if it's love hate peace joy whatever and that's fine that's fine that's fine I mean, I'm not upset I'm not, I can't be upset because you know it is what it is you know what I mean at the end of the day why do you love Japan tell me because I'm, I'm confused all these people out here man just doing bits about this country doing bits making um whole like oh my god Japan is the greatest place in the world Japan is, is, is a pretty dope place. Yeah, I admit it, but it's not like without its flaws like other countries, you know. I really think they did a good job or whoever to kind of cover up all these atrocities that they did back in the day. You know, they struck America first, and if you all remember, if you all remember, and as America just strike back a bit harder. Yikes. Yeah, this is not a the blast to Japan, why I hate Japan vlog. It isn't. I'm just asking, why do you love Japan so much? To the point that you're willing to diss other people, disrespect other people over a country that probably will you will never go to, a lot of you, or a country that a lot of you, <laughs> a lot of you will never visit, or they don't even care about you. <laughs> you know, a country that values its citizens, I, I find. Um especially old Japanese men. They love them, those old Japanese men, bro. Those men can act with impunity, I find. And it is what it is at the end of the day. I guess it's a, it's a cultural thing. It's a patriarchal society. So the older guys get away with a lot more, you know? I mean, today uh, I saw an article about a court that awarded a family 140 million yen, was it? Billion or million yen? I can't remember, but a lot of money. Um, because an old guy, 92 years old, was driving. He drove his car and hit a couple or something like that. And, and, and I don't know if they killed him or whatever, but he was told, the doctor told him he had Parkinson's and he was supposed to drive. Japanese people are probably some of the most stubborn people you find in the world. Like when they get older, the OG sons, OG san, Oba san, them, them, they, they are on it, fam. They know they, they, their time is coming to an end, so they're just on vibes. Like they don't, if they join a line, they'll push sometimes to get in the train because nobody's not supposed to talk to them. They will answer the phone on the train and talk very loudly because, yo, low. I mean, they are long to themselves. I love them, you I love the older people because they move like human beings because they know the time is up and have to enjoy it. And they say, screw these Japanese principles and morals and how we're supposed to behave, monocoms of society. We don't care. You know what I mean? But why do foreigners especially love Japan? Let me know in the comments because me, I, I really don't know. I would love to know what you guys love about Japan. Um, I like a lot of things about Japan. I don't love it yet. When I start being rich, maybe I'll start to love it. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Why do you love Japan if you do? And why you don't if you don't? Yeah, that's just a weird video. All right, I'm going to pick a guy, Jin. Content creator. Madness.